the idea of a museum in Homewood is, is fantastic because I think one of the things that's wonderful about Homewood and the Flossmoor area also is that they're communities that really are very involved in education. We are certainly known for our the quality of our schools and the innovation and the, the uh, just the programs that we are able to offer students. I think education is, you know, it's always number one. It's the forefront. I think that's what attracts so many parents and families to Homewood. And, you know, when you have people already moving into a community because of the schools and because of the education factor, it seems to me like that would be a nice place to locate a museum, too, that it would just complement and round off the whole experience. One of the things that we found very attractive about Homewood is that it has a downtown. It's not just a bunch of subdivisions tied together. It really is a town. We have a downtown business association. It's called the DHBA, and we do events. Like today is our, our downtown Homewood Holiday Open House. So we all work together. We cross mar market. We merchandise. We, we have the similar hours. We just work together as a big team. I think that it would make just a nice visit. You know, you would come to the museum, you could go to the library, you could visit one of the local restaurants, and again, not move your car. You're not getting strollers in and out of trunks. You're just walking. It's a walkable town. It, people live here, they walk here. My wife, Jennifer, uh, uh, my two daughters and I, typically we go to places uh, by bike. I have my kids, we live in Flossmoor, and they take the train from Flossmoor to Homewood and hang out in Homewood. Because we are located near the major highways of 80 and 94, we're so easy to get to. And also with our commuter rail system, people from the, the city can come in. The train is right here. You, um, it's a block down, um, especially for the museum. It'll be great. You'll get all of that traffic from the city, get, you know, coming down, taking the train, or from south. They can take the train from University Park and come on up and go, go here. And I think the downtown businesses would really perk up some of their, you know, lines of what they carry in their store, what they offer in their food menus, if they knew that a young population was going to be routinely coming into the downtown area. I think our teachers could have a lot to offer the, the museum itself as a resource for them um, in talking about current curriculum. Uh, trends, things that of interest that our students are working on and kind of use them as, as a little lab for the museum to kind of take the pulse of what kids are interested in and what they could offer. Well, I think that we're really good at working together. I think that we as a, as a downtown area um, tend to help each other a lot. Because we have so many festivals and um, small town atmosphere, that would give an easy participation for the Children's Museum. We would almost expect them to be involved. Our Story Hours Now, we've used the Field Museum as a resource. So to have a local resource, that would just be you know, even more incredible. It would be a fabulous opportunity for both you know, the community as well as families you know, to take that next step, to take that next journey to find out more about whatever the given topic is. I think it will be a wonderful opportunity for the people of Homewood to have this museum, not only from the perspective of having just a wonderful museum where they can visit, but it's a place for us to volunteer. We have such, such a spirit of volunteerism in our community. There isn't anything that I put the call out for with our, with our parent community or even the broader community. That we don't, that we have a need uh, for help, and and they come calling. We have a, a core of very involved parents, but we also have older kids who are looking for volunteer opportunities. We have a strong Girl Scout community. We have a strong Boy Scout community. All who need service hours. We have a strong faith-based community, and many of the kids who are going through confirmation either in eighth grade or sometimes freshman year in high school need service hours. Volunteers in Hemwood are. are vast. There's a great pool of them. Everything that we can do to try to help the community is, is, is wonderful. I think what Homewood has over a lot of other communities, first of all, it has that that they value the education. And so an educational experience as a museum is going to be something that the community values. So they're, they're not going to let their museum down. They're, they're going to go there and they're going to um, find ways to fund it. I could see the schools taking trips there. I could see the volunteers immediately getting involved. I could see it being very good. 
I think that it's something that the community would wor- would really relish working together with the museum to make it even bigger and better.